Hey guys, so today's gonna be a combo vlog of, it's, it's Sunday today, but on Wednesday, this vlog is gonna be made of two things, Wednesdays and today's. Wednesday I went out boot shop and finally got my boots I wanted, you'll see all that footage, and, um, and that little half vlog, and then I'm just gonna tie it into today being Sunday, we're having a barbecue with Hales, my buddy that I went to get my boots with, and some others, so we're gonna have a cookout. It'll be pretty fun, so I'm excited. Here he's just sitting there busting out some quick dishes, um, eat some lunch, hang out for a little bit at our house, and then head over there. So I'm excited, it's gonna be a good day, um, and get some good food. I've been dying for some barbecue. And we made our special Hawaiian chicken, barbecue chicken, it's gonna be really good. Okay, everyone, prepare to be vlogged. <laughs> What's your first name? Jared. Jared, Jared and Matt. Not Sergeant Guerrero right now, it's Matt and Jared, and that's Jared Patrick right there, yeah. I met him last night on duty for the officially kind of first time, guys. He's gonna break me in to get my first pair of boots because he's from North Carolina and he talks with the thickest accent in the world. But it's not even bad, apparently, only when he's with his family, but he's lost a lot of it. Kind of like Alton, my other buddy you guys know. Got to get used to talking to a camera, it's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, well today we just got off duty. He had phone watch last night and I had duty and we're going down to pick up his car, but it worked out really great. Because I want to go to Boot Barn because there's like a 15% off military discount always. And he also has a car that can hook up it with prices. So, we're going down to pick up his car, but we're going to Boot Barn and I'm going to spend some money that I got from selling my laptop. I'm pretty excited. I'm about to become a real man, guys. <laughs> And he's driving this beast of a truck. <laughs> Freaking massive. Great piece of advice, guys. <laughs> Jared, we're just talking about selling things. You should, he's the type of guy that for, he's willing to sell anything for a price. You know, you're always willing to make money. Not emotional attachments like animals or loved ones, but anything material, it always has a price. You can always make some money. So don't be afraid to sell something if you have something to sell, right? There you go. Okay, we're talking about some very important things that people should know. I mean, most of you probably, probably know that people from the South, the East, like more inland, anyone other than California, pretty much, yeah. has country folk, has people. You know, we have the Western type cowboys, but we got you got your country dudes. He is a freaking country <laughs> corn fed boy. Like, straight up fixes cars, does all this stuff. We're talking about trade jobs, trade skills. They are the backbone of America, obviously, just like farmers and all this stuff. I mean, there's other important jobs. I'm not trying to downgrade whatever your family does if you're watching this, but like important jobs that you know people should know. And maybe it's just me, I'm from California. I don't know anything about auto mechanics. I know there's some people, you know, went to my high school and knew stuff because they went up to the desert, rode bikes, did all that type of stuff. But I think that most, I don't know, maybe I'm just talking for myself, but Californians, don't grow up doing trade jobs. Like in high school, we don't have an auto mechanic shop that I went, that I had. We didn't have carpenter stuff. We didn't have crazy stuff like that. Yet all these dudes have like agriculture classes, auto mechanics, all these type of trade skills that are really important. And people need to understand trade skills and trade jobs, you make a lot of money. If you're a handyman, like his dad's a self made businessman just off of his own work. He has a, a machine shop and he has like, uh, uh, what is that? What else? Yeah. HVAC. Yeah, HVAC, like freaking yeah, heating, ventilation, air conditioning, that type of stuff. I mean, holy crap, you can make tons of money. So people out there, don't downgrade on trade skills or trade jobs. Yeah, it's not, maybe not, you don't need a university degree for those things, but you can definitely have a successful life and have a lot of stuff. And that's something I wish I had more skills of. I wish I had a lot more auto mechanic skills, carpentry, plumbing, whatever, just so I could do it all and not to pay other people to do it. <laughs> But yeah, so my hat's off to those who have those skills. Everyone, playoffs, freaking Stanley Cup is on right now. Every day there's games, so if you're interested, you should watch. My Ducks, they're doing a lot better than anyone I think thought. We are a comeback team, and we've come back from every game so far, I believe, um, against the Jets. The Jets are a good, formidable foe. They are doing well. But I hope we win tonight and we can close out this series best of seven right now. Tonight we win, it'll be four. And I don't think anyone thought that. So we'll see who we go up against next. The Predators and the and the Hawks are, it's neck and neck with them. I don't know who's doing better right now, but it's crazy. So we'll see who we go against. Go Ducks. I'm about to put on my wings and fly, gents. About to become a man. Boot barn! Woo! Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Let's go give me some boots, y'all. It's actually happening. I'm so happy, guys. I'm so happy right now. My buddy, Drew. 
We just parked next to a really awesome truck right there. It's a really, really nice Duramax. Oh, I really have to use the bathroom like really bad. I'm about to wet myself. Uh, oh, yeah, you're, yeah, you need your wallet. <laughs> doing it. I'm so excited guys. I've been wanting boots forever as you know. My wife's finally going to get me to shut up because like I said I stole my computer and now I'm getting some boots. Oh and they just opened a half hour ago. We're so lucky. Woo! Would have sucked if they were closed. Holy crap. This is heaven on earth. So many boots. All back there. Boots. This is a man's world. I'm dying guys. Holy crap. Dang some sick boots. Oh my Dude, how do I deal with this? These are sick boots right here. $219. I don't even know where to start. This is disgusting how many boots they have. I'm, I seriously, like, I want to get the full, full experience. I'm going to ask someone to help me how they help people. I don't even know, dude. Nice and tall. It's okay. You're the same size. We're sizing up my foot right now. And you look like a DD, but you look really wide. You're actually a perfect nine. So. Oh, may perfect nine. Okay, cool. One? Yes, you may. Oh. I totally thought I was going to be like an eight. <laughs> Okay, this is your smaller foot actually. You're an eight and a half. Wow, that's so weird. Because that's why I'm So lengthwise. Eight. Lengthwise, this one's a nine and this one's an eight and a half. Wow, so that, that's weird because I always thought my foot, this one feels smaller in the shoes that I wear in this. It like, might be your width. That's probably what yeah. it is. That's yeah, your insane. Your arch is a little larger. Right? Okay, right? well, because, you know, Valerie, right you helped hand. me today. I have a channel on YouTube. That's why I'm filming my experience. I do uh -oh. like a daily vlog. Oh, so, really? yeah, so I'm trying to get this all well, captured so my wife can see it too. Aww. Yeah. So. The deed is done. I got them. Finally, after a million freaking hours in that store, I found the ones I like. And to my surprise, they're actually pointed toe. They're not round or they're not square. They're a pointed toe boot. So, and then in a week from now, I got, I got $15 credit that I'm gonna put with the extra money I have. Maybe get something else, who knows? You see anything in there you like? All kinds of stuff. <laughs> that is the, the country man's freaking dream house right there. I'm excited. So, it's kind of dark right now, but these are what they sort of look like. The sun's kind of bright. You can't really see, but I'll show you guys when I get out. But yeah, I like them. I'm excited. It's going to be good. So, I'll take my mirrors off and be all right. Yep. Now, guys, we are headed to Subway, get some food, get his car, and head back man things. Okay, we are headed to Alton and and uh, Kaylin's, my bad. <laughs> Alton and Kaylin's right now. We're going to have our barbecue. Really excited. Super hungry. Going to be great. Uh, okay. See you there. I don't know if it's split screen. Guys, we're here. Hey. Alton. Good. Doggies having fun Good. with each other. Oh, I'm so hungry and excited. We're doing this with them. Barbecued up. Oh, my boots. Oh my god. Look at them, look at them. <laughs> Alton, you'll appreciate them. Mm -hmm. I was gonna ask if he was gonna Oh uh, yeah? Are they the green ones? No, 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 no these are different <laughs> ones. Take a bite, has he? Yeah, oh, no, not really. <laughs> take a yep. What is that right here? Oh, you want one? I got them. They're it's Mountain Dew Shine. Mountain Dew Shine. What it's Mountain the heck? Dew. It's Mountain Dew. How, oh, that's weird yeah. how they put that non alcoholic. Non yeah, it's really good. Hilarious. Citrus flavored dew. Just taste it. It's a soda? Taste it, yeah. It's soda, dude. I promise. That's weird. That's funny how they have to you put non alcoholic. Yeah, actually, that's really good. You want one? Okay, there's the only other people that crochet more or better than I do. It's Kaylin right there and her mama. Look at this. What are you trying to do? Crocheting up in here. Magic circle. Oh, look at that. What are you making? A little. Uh, magic circles. What are you making? Uh, what, what are you making? <laughs> I can do a circle for you. It's a magic circle with magic. six stitches. Yeah. yeah it's, so, All yeah. right. The way yeah. she showed me, uh -huh. I'm making an elephant. All right. Oh, an elephant. Do That's like awesome. Do this. Two around that. Then hold both of those like that. Go through what here. The heck? Pull it through. Pull it through again. That is freaking weird. Then. What the heck? Go through. I've never seen this stitch before, guys. That is so weird. One. See, I'm not supposed to have that second. That's blah blows my mind. So I gotta check this out. Kaylin made some mm -hmm. like avocado salsa, which is amazing. Like Alton's making getting their steaks ready over here, and we got some freaking <laughs> asparagus. And we got our chicken up in here. Really excited. Good to be with friends and family. You know what I'm saying? Just waiting for my buddy outside. So what's 
I love this backyard. It's awesome. It's probably really windy, guys. I don't know if you can hear very well. I'm trying to think of a challenge me and Hales could do to put in this vlog. I don't know. I actually need to, I need, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Look at that. Grill. Boots. Boots. I'm going to move the grill over here. So Man, thanks, guys. Grilling. Yeah. Boots. I love it. No, probably not. Look what Nova does. Hey Nova, 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 Nova. Nova. Nova, what you doing? Nova. Nova, give me that smile. Nova. Hey, hey. She starts smiling on her teeth. Nova. Nova. <laughs> Nova. Nova. She doesn't do it for me. Dang it. Grand. Nova. <laughs> no, we just like seeing her teeth, trying to film her teeth. Oh, Nova. <laughs> Guys, Alan is God of the grill tonight. Talking with food in my mouth, but if you've never tried blue cheese on a steak, you have to cook the steak to your liking, and then you put that on it, or you put it on under the fire a little bit longer and melt it. So good, and our chicken that he cooked, oh, amazing. Okay, finished products. Pineapple, steak and blue cheese. That's mama's right there. Got some asparagus, and the chicken, the rice, and my woman. <laughs> yeah. Tasty too. Okay, she, Caitlin has this little like it's a birth control thing inside of her arm. It's a little thing. Yeah, but look at it. She it. can bend it Hang and on. it pokes. There it is. Oh, you see that? Oh, <laughs> faster. <laughs> Viewer discretion advised. Arm. Yeah, how is uh, So they no, do they eventually cut they it out and just pull it out? It and then they'll uh, just reopen the little scar and uh, pull it out and then they can put another one right back in. That's gross. Really dark, guys, but we're just finishing up here. I just played a really sweet game on PlayStation for the order. I like it a lot. That was really cool. I might might have to get that. It's okay. It's okay. But and Hales really wants me to get Destiny. But we're gonna take off. It was really good eating and chilling with these guys. We had fun. Yeah, we did. Bye bye. Things. He literally grilled the best chicken. It was all skill and luck. I kind of a little bit of both. But looking for a chef. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna take off. So, so we're gonna say good night to you guys. Frozen. We're home. Took a long time to get through this gate because they're doing a random check for like everything. But good thing is I know the guy. He's like, I, you can just go through. So, Saley drinking her juice. We had a really good time tonight. Fun with friends, barbecue. I'll get the vlog uploaded tomorrow so you guys can watch it. Love you. Good night. <laughs> Later.